Hello friends, I am Champion Mahipal. Today we are going to learn about one interview question of C language. It is very tricky but very simple. Okay, so what is the question? The question is what is the return type of print F? Now many of us think is there any return type of print F? But the answer is yes. So now we are going to learn what is the return type of print F with the help of this example or program. So here I have uh, taken one integer and here is the printf statement and here is that i integer is the return type of printf so what it returns let us suppose we are printing 10 characters then it will return 10 and this will be saved in this i Okay, here I am printing champion. Champion contains 8 character. Then it will return 8 to the i. So this, this tells us that the integer is the return type of printf statement. And in the next line I have printed the value of i. So now let us see its output champion value of i is equal to 8 ok this is our first interview question what is return type of print tab today we are going to learn about one C language interview question and the question is write a program without main function here I am explaining the answer with a simple program the main thing is this in this is this line. In this line, we use preprocessor directive in which we we tells the compiler or the processor. We tells the processor to replace fun with main. Means where we will write fun, it will get play, replaced by the main. So we can write fun in place of the main in the main i have written fun when we will compile it it will get converted into main so our uh, main thing is fulfilled that we have not used the main but we can uh, compile it we can run it as it is like a main function and i have just if you can write any statements here I have just printed my name that is champion so let us view the output it is running correctly today we are going to discuss one very simple but tricky interview question the question is print name without using semicolon in this program we can't use any semicolon but we have to write our name it is very simple i am explaining it here in the main function i am writing if statement and within the condition of if i am writing printf printf and what you want to write is written within the printf function okay so what it will do it will first execute that means your name will be printed then it will return true or it will return false if it it, it will get it is always true so it will execute this open braces nothing more than that will execute and it will come out of the program so it is very simple but somewhat tricky ok so now let us View its output. My name is printed without using semicolon. Today we are going to learn about one interview question. So the question is to calculate string length 
without using string functions and loop so here i am explaining how we can calculate the length of the string without string functions and loop for this we should know one another thing the other thing is that the what is the return type of printf printf returns the number of characters it has printed means the return type of printf is integer it will return number of characters it prints we will use this thing to calculate the string length here i am using integer i for calculating the length string here i have used printf to giving command to the user to print or to enter a string then this is the important line where we are calculating the length of the string and in the next we are just printing the length the value of the length of the string what we are doing here we are using printf statement and it it will return the number of characters it print first we have write entered string is then percentage as for the string and then backslash n for the new line here is the get as string what it will do we have write here enter a string then the user will enter it then it will pass to here it will get the string and write it here because of this percentage s and and printf will return the number of characters it return so we will get the length of the string but one problem is that we are writing this also so we need to minus this number of characters and it counts 20 so we are decreasing it by 20 and saving the result into i i will give us the desired length what we want we can see the output here enter string i am entering my name champion mahipal enter enter string is champion mahipal length is 16 okay this is what we are we want today we are going to know about one special thing in switch statement this special thing is what we are going to know will the expressions will be executed in the switch statement or not it is rare it is commonly asked in the interview questions so here we we are checking will the expressions are executed or not here i have taken x integer which is initialized with 1 i am using switch and passing x here we are taking the expression x is equal to x plus 1 means x will get incremented if x will be incremented then case 2 will run if it is not then case 1 will run if it is incremented then choice is 2 is printed otherwise choice 1 is printed so now let us view the output answer is choice is 1 so what happened this statement is not executed this statement is not executed it tells us that any expression will not get executed after we get entered in the switch okay this is very commonly asked in interviews thank you